Okay, I'm going to make this quick and to the point. Some very sincere people believe that NASA has created a hoax that the Earth is round. This has gotten, you know, unbelievably popular on YouTube and around the internet. Uh, they, but but they believe that the Earth is really flat, and that the photos that NASA have been showing us from space are all fabricated. They're 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 composites. They're hoaxes. Um. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to provide you with three ways you can verify the Earth is round. And they have nothing to do with NASA. In fact, these are ways that people knew the Earth was round before NASA ever existed. Um, and, and that the Earth is actually round. I can help you prove this for yourself if you want to, want to do that. The first thing you should do is book a flight on the U-2 spy plane. That will take you up 70,000 feet, and you will clearly see that the Earth is a sphere. But it's unlikely that any of you are going to be able to get a seat on the U-2. So, there's another option. Book a flight, a long-distance flight, on a modern airliner. They will take you as high as 50,000 feet. They do this because at high altitude, the air is much thinner, and the plane doesn't have to push as hard to travel through it, saving them a lot of fuel. Yeah, they fly high to save fuel. Um, but from that height, you can clearly see the Earth is a sphere, just looking out the window. It's actually a really amazing experience. Um, uh, by doing that, you now, have, you now have empirical evidence that the Earth is round. You can see it with your own eyes. Just, just book a long-distance flight in an airliner. So if you wanted to take that trip to Hawaii or something you were thinking about doing and you think the Earth is flat, eh, maybe this is a good time to do that. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll take you way up high. Um, but, uh, you know, perhaps you're afraid to, to fly. So let me point out to you the humble lighthouse. Okay. And this is for all my dear flat Earth friends who I know are very sincere and... Um, which you might want to consider is there are formulas for a lighthouse to be seen over the curve of the earth. Um, before they build these structures, engineers actually do these calculations. But if the earth was flat, all they would need to do is increase the brightness, the luminosity of the lighthouse, not how high they build it. Um, you know, and, and so... If engineers back in the 19th century knew that the earth had a curve to it and they had to build their lighthouses tall to peek over the curve of the earth, um, you could verify this yourself. Um, so, you know, the, the, the point I'm making here is that engineers, light, engineers who design lighthouses knew the earth was around long before NASA ever existed. If the Earth was flat, there would be no need to build tall lighthouses. In physics, there is what's known as the inverse square law. A simple way to understand this is that for every doubling of a distance from a light source, its brightness will be reduced by one quarter. This means that a lighthouse would be visible for hundreds, even thousands of miles if not for the curvature of the earth. Okay, light carrying that far is not a problem. Um, but light curving around the earth is a problem. There is some refraction and light can curve around um, the earth due to the atmosphere somewhat. Um, they even have that in the lighthouse calculations, believe it or not. Um, so anyway, if engineers in the 19th century knew the earth was round and needed to factor this into their lighthouse designs, uh, then you at least have proof that NASA didn't make up the idea of a spherical Earth. Uh, one more thing. The, the Haversine formula. When ships and planes travel around the Earth, they do not calculate the distance of the straight line. They calculate an arc. Uh, so ask any airline pilot or ship navigator about the problem of navigating without calculating for the curve of the Earth. If you fail to make this calculation, you're trip will be much longer than expected so this is really important to them okay this is well known but uh, the humble lighthouse the 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 formulas for for how far they can peek over the curve of the earth have been around since they've been making lighthouses 
and um, that's been a very long time. So uh, you know, I'll post those. Uh, I'll post some of those numbers for you, and you can take a look at it. And uh, take a look at the inverse square law. There's no reason that light wouldn't just travel. A bright lighthouse should be seen for hundreds, even thousands of miles, if not for the curve of the Earth. All right. Hope that helps. And uh, I hope I give you an excuse to take a nice vacation to Hawaii. All right. Take care. Bye.